Understanding for Dear Life, an English Language Learning Guide. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English phrase, for dear life. This phrase is rich in imagery and emotion, and understanding it can really enhance your English comprehension and expression. Let's explore what it means, its origins, and how to use it in everyday conversation. The phrase, for dear life, is used to describe a situation where someone is doing something with extreme effort or intensity, usually out of fear or desperation. It often implies that there is a lot at stake, like personal safety or success. For example, if someone is holding on to something, for dear life, it means they are gripping it very tightly, often because they are afraid of falling or being hurt. Understanding where phrases come from can really help us remember and use them correctly. The phrase, for dear life, has been in use since at least the 19th century. Dear, in this context means, precious, or, of great value. So, when we say someone is doing something, for dear life, it's as if they are doing it as if their life, which is precious, depends on it. Let's see some examples to understand how to use this phrase. She clung to the edge of the boat for dear life during the storm. In the final moments of the race, he ran for dear life. These examples show the phrase being used to describe situations of urgency, fear, and high stakes. Sometimes learners confuse, for dear life, with other expressions or use it inappropriately. Remember, this phrase is best used in scenarios involving intense effort or fear. It's not suitable for casual or everyday situations. For instance, saying, I waited for the bus for dear life, doesn't quite fit. As waiting for a bus usually isn't a high stakes, intense effort. I hope this video clarifies the meaning and usage of, for dear life. It's a vivid, expressive phrase that can add drama and intensity to your English conversations and writings. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to use it when the situation is right. Until next time, keep learning and stay curious.